Hello there! Welcome back to our virtual class. We are in second quarter, week 7 in our science lesson. So today, we are going to discuss about the effects of the interactions among organisms in the environment. Are you ready? Let's go! No man is an island. This saying is also true for organisms in an ecosystem. No organism exists in isolation. Individual organisms live together in an ecosystem and depend on one another. In fact, they have many different types of interactions with each other, and many of these interactions are critical for their survival. At the end of this lesson, you are able to describe the effect of interactions among organisms in their environment. As part of our review, study the diagram, then answer the following questions. Number one, what living things are found in the picture? So we have the tree and a carabao. Number two, what is given off by the tree that is needed by the carabao? The answer is oxygen. Number three, what is given off by the carabao that is needed by the tree? The correct answer is carbon dioxide. The number three question. What do you think will happen if the cow or the carabao or other animals will not give off carbon dioxide? And what do you think will happen if the trees or other plants are not present in the environment? Number four, do they have important roles in the environment? What are they? And number five, what are the organisms interacting with each other? Is the interaction beneficial or harmful? Just comment your answer at the comment section after this video. Let's discuss the types of interactions. So there are two types of beneficial interactions. We have the mutualism, which is the type of interaction where both species benefit from the relationship. And the second is the commensalism. This type of interaction is where one organism benefits while the other is not harmed nor affected. And the other type of interaction is the harmful interaction. So we have the predation. This type of interaction where one benefits while the other one is harmed or badly affected. That one that usually benefits is called predator and the one that is harmed is called prey. If the number of prey is large, the number of predator increases since there is more food for predators. Next is the parasitism. This type of interaction where the organisms that benefit are called parasites and the one that is affected is called the host. Parasites cannot live alone. They must live in a living host. Some parasites do slight harm to their host and other can kill their host. And lastly, the competition. This is the type of interaction where organisms compete for food, sunshine, space, shelter, water, and other things that they need to survive. Each organism in this kind of relationship is a competitor. So what are the effects of interactions among organisms? So the first interaction is the flower and the bee. So what are the effects or the possible effects of interaction? So these, these are the effects are the possible effects of interaction. First, nectar of flowers is a source of bee or a source of bee foods. Pollen grains help in fertilization and producing fruits. Bees produce honey. Trees produce fruits. Useful and beneficial to human. Next interaction is commensalism. So the effect or the possible effect of this interaction is three provide home for ferns or flower or orchids. Ferns beautify gardens. Next is the predation. So what are the possible effects of this interaction? 
the increase and decrease in the number of frogs and insects in the ecosystem eventually create balance in the number of population. Next interaction is the parasitism. So the possible effect, aside from sucking of blood, mosquito can cause dengue fever and chikungunya. And the last interaction is the competition. So the effect of this, plant to not grow well. The types of interactions in the ecosystem where organisms share can have certain effects on their survival rate and the environment as well. These effects could either be beneficial or harmful to all organisms and the environment where they live. Whether beneficial or harmful effects that happen in the ecosystem, we as humans need to care and protect them and the environment where those organisms live and thrive for the future generations to come. Let's check what you have learned so far. Let us do the exercise 1. Infer the possible effects of each interaction in the environment. First interaction, overcrowded plants in a small pot. So what do you think is the possible effect of this interaction? So plants do not grow well. Second, bug feeding on a leaf of plant. So what is the possible uh, effect of this? So plants will die. Next is insects and flower. So what is the possible effect of this interaction? Very good. Bees and flower both benefit. Next is fish on a shark. So what is the possible effect of these two interactions? Very good. Fish benefits and then shark is unharmed. And last interaction, snake eating a rat. So what is the possible effect of this? Snake will benefit and then rat will die. Great job! And now let's have our exercise 2. Analyze first the following situations, then infer the possible effects of interaction of organisms on themselves or in the environment. So the first interaction, we have the elephant fighting each other. So what do you think is the possible effect of this? So elephants are harmed or badly affected in the fight which may cause death of other elephants. The second interaction is the barnacles attaching to the body of the whale. So what effect could it be? So this attachment helps the barnacle to move with, with the whale to get its food. Third interaction, the pine beetle laying eggs in the pine tree. So the possible effect of this is this may harm or cause death of the pine tree. The fourth interaction is the lichen consists of a fungus and an algae growing together. So the possible effect of this interaction is this is beneficial interaction for both fungus and algae. Fungus gets food from the algae and the algae gets a place to live in. And the last interaction of organism is the pitcher plant catching insects. So the possible effect of this interaction is pitcher plants have foods for survival, but this will decrease the number of insects present in the area. Fantastic! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you!